Hi, I am Dr. Aida Başkin Martin and in this video I'll talk about the cell, specifically animal cell as part of the human anatomy and physiology course. The cell described as the basic unit of structure and function of life. In this picture I wanted to show you plant, animal, cell and bacteria and mention a little bit about their similarities and differences. Plant and animal cells are similar in that they are both eukaryotic cells. They are belong to the eukaryotic domain. However, bacteria are prokaryotic. That means prokaryotic cell, like bacteria, does not have any membrane-bound organelles. They have DNA like plant and animal cells. They have cell membrane like plant and animal cells. However, they do not have a nucleus like plant and animal cell. We call the DNA, circular DNA found in the bacteria, nucleoid. They do not have nucleus. Now focus on the differences and similarities in the plant and animal cells. As you see, plant cell has a cell wall as well as cell membrane, but animal cell does not have any cell wall. And when you look, the plant cell has chloroplast and big, large central vacuole to store, use a storage and give the uh, shape of the cell. But animal cell doesn't have any chloroplast and doesn't have any cell wall and doesn't have any uh, central vacuole. However, has different organelles, membrane-bound organelles, and small vesicles and vacuoles to carry out the uh, uh, substances. Animal cells are specialized. They are differentiated according to their size, shape, and functions. In this slide, I wanted to point out the projections from the cell membrane. Just know that not every uh, animal cell has these projections, but only the special type that we will talk about it. But this picture is good to show or point out the flagellum. It's like a tail. And the cilia, you see the, the small abundant uh, extension, plasma membrane extensions. There may be three different projections that comes out from the cell membrane. Flagellum, cilia, and microvilli. Cilia and flagellum are made up of microtubules and covered by an extension of plasma membrane. However, microvilli are the pure plasma membrane extensions. Cilia and flagellum are motile. That means they move. They design either to move the cell itself, as in flagella or flagellum, to propel the flagellum is the single, flagella is the plural form of the same structure, and moves as propeller and moves the cells itself. However, the cilia move like a whip, uh, kind of forward, backward and moves the substances over or around the cell. Microvilli does not move, so immotile. However, they increase the surface area for the uh, greater rate of absorption of nutrients. For that reason, you can see the microvilli in small intestine, epithelia. And you can see the cilia in the uh, respiratory uh, tract uh, epithelia or the fallopian tube to move the egg above them and flagellum uh, there is only uh, one cell one human cell has the flagellum it is the tail of a sperm cell right the sperm cell has a tail that is the only cell the flagellum found in humans Cell or plasma membrane is the outer boundary of the cell, maintains the integrity of the cell. It is selectively permeable. That means regulates the entry and exit of substances and decide which one can pass through in and out, which one cannot. 
and has another uh, function does the signal transduction permits the cell to receive and respond to messages plasma membrane consists mainly of lipids and proteins and some carbohydrates cell membrane frame uh, framework is basically made up with phospholipid bilayer phospholipid bilayer and water soluble hydrophilic heads form the surfaces water insoluble hydrophobic tails form the interior bilayer is permeable to lipid soluble substances but impermeable to water soluble substances and electrically charged substances so lipid bilayer gives the fluidity and the elasticity of the membrane but to give the, the rigidity to the membrane you will see tiny yellow uh, uh, dots shown in the, this picture they are representing the cholesterol so cholesterol uh, another type of lipid that stabilize the membrane helps keep it impermeable to water soluble substances however make sure the uh, plasma membrane has this stability in the cell membrane you will see there's different type of uh, proteins as well those proteins ha has many different functions they can create the protein channel as you see they are represented with the blue color in this picture and pores channels receptors enzymes cell contact and identification and cam which is the cell adhesion molecules they are all made up with the proteins there is some carbohydrates too you can see them with the green uh, colored uh, structure uh, we call them uh, glycolipid because the, the sugar uh, attached to the or carbohydrate structure attached to the lipid membrane glycolipids they are for cell recognition and interaction they are self markers abo group antigen abo blood group antigens are glycolipid type of receptors which contains sugar and lipid most cells have only one nucleus but some have more than one nucleus and others like red blood cells when they mature they lose their nucleus so they do not have any at all good example for uh, a cell have more than one nucleus uh, is skeletal muscle fiber which they have more than one that's why we call them multi nucleated cells nucleus contains the cells genetic information dna in a format we call chromatin and inside the nucleus we have another organelle we call nucleolus little nucleus it's a dense body of rna uh, and protein and it is the site of ribosome production so ribosomes produce in the nucleolus nucleus uh, covered with a double layered membrane we will call that nucleus uh, nuclear uh, envelope nuclear envelope this nuclear envelope has some openings these openings we will call the nuclear pore and between nuclear uh, membrane nuclear envelope and the nucleolus there is a liquid form uh, structure we will call that nucleoplasm rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum is a network of membrane enclosed sacs in a cell that package and transport materials for cellular growth and other functions there are only two type of endoplasmic reticulum smooth and rough if there is a, a ribosome attached to them we will call them rough endoplasmic reticulum if there is no ribosome attached then we will call them smooth endoplasmic reticulum as you see the rough endoplasmic reticulum attached or closer to the nucleus itself rough endoplasmic reticulum conducts the protein synthesis because they have the ribosome on them smooth endoplasmic reticulum however does not have ribosome so it doesn't produce any uh, protein however conducts the lipid synthesis in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum 
another membrane bonded organelle is the Golgi apparatus. It looks like a flattened sac and top uh, uh, stacked top of each other. It's like a pancakes, right? So Golgi apparatus packages the proteins and lipids comes from the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum uh, into a small vesicles to be transported. Vesicles are membranous sacs which store or transport substances. It acts like a Golgi apparatus acts like a post office, distribution and shipping department. Golgi apparatus also makes a special type of vesicle termed a lysosome. Mitochondria are the another organelle with a double layered membrane, inner and outer membrane. It generates the ATP or energy for the cell. They house the chemical reactions that extract energy from nutrients, like cellular respiration, which produces ATP, and they are powerhouse of the cells. Mitochondria can number anywhere in the hundreds to thousands, depend on the cell. Active cells in the muscles, liver, and kidneys have a large number of mitochondria to support the high metabolic demand. Ribosomes. They composed of protein and RNA. They can be either found freely in the cytoplasm or attached to rough endoplasmic reticulum. They provide structural support and enzyme activity to link amino acids in protein synthesis. So we can easily call them ribosomes are the protein factories of the cell. Lysosomes are uh, membrane-covered small vesicles uh, made up in the Golgi apparatus. They contain uh, hydrolytic enzymes to digest proteins, carbohydrates, nucleic acids, bacteria, debris, worn-out cell parts. So they are the garbage disposal of the, the cells. And the enzymes in the lysosome should stay in that uh, membrane. If they go out uh, the membrane of the lysosome, they will hydrolyze or damage the cell itself. Peroxisome, another type of uh, vesicle or membrane-bound uh, small vesicles that contain different type of enzymes than lysosome, they, they specialize to digest lipids, alcohol, and some toxic materials such as hydrogen peroxide. Although in practice we use hydrogen peroxide, but it's very, very, very dilated amount. In the cell that we have high concentration, higher concentration, hydrogen peroxide, which is very toxic. And it is uh, detoxified uh, or digested by paroxysms. Liver is the one organ, there is lots of paroxysm. If a person drinks so much alcohol and the paroxysms will be overworked uh, and exhausted and when the paroxysm will not able to digest the alcohol and then that alcohol will damage the cell of the liver and the patient eventually will get the, the disease of the we call cirrhosis. Cytoskeleton. Cytoskeleton is a sporting framework of protein rods and tubules. You can see in this picture microfilaments, intermediate filaments, uh, and microtubules. They form a framework for the cell and acts like a road, a train track, to substances travel on. Centrosome. Centrosome contains a pair called the centrioles. They are the micro tubule bundles. Centrioles are important because they move chromosomes to opposite ends of the cell during the cell replication, termed mitosis. N neurons do not have centrioles and that's why they cannot replicate. Centrioles are self-replicating organelles made up of nine bundles of microtubules and are found only in the animal cells. Centrioles produce spindle fibers as shown in the pictures during the cell division which distribute chromosomes to forming daughter cells. 
cytoplasm is the watery interior of the cell that contains ions, proteins, and organelles. If we call only the intracellular fluid between plasma membrane and nuclear membrane, we will call this cytosol. So if you formulate cytoplasm is the cytosol plus organelles. Can you test your knowledge in this anatomical model, model that I label with the numbers? Can you guess what is number one? Mitochondria. Number two, Golgi apparatus. Number three, vesicle. Number four, ciliae. Number five, rough endoplasmic reticulum. Number six, plasma membrane itself. Number seven, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, number 8, nucleolus, number 9, nucleus, uh, number 10, centrosome. I hope you learned and you enjoy it. Mm, and the next slide, I will have the uh, cell structure labeled uh, for you to, if you want to uh, stop and uh, uh, learn or print it. Here we go, the cell structure as I promised. I hope you enjoyed and you learned all about the cell. Uh, if you like this video and would like to watch more, please uh, give me feedback by mm, pressing the or clicking the like uh, and subscribe button below if you haven't done so. And if you have any question, leave me a comment below. Thank you.